Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Rodney Hash. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a little piece of education for you, and that is, what is CRC? A lot of people have been asking me this question, a lot of people have been really curious, what, what in the world is it? Uh, within the cannabis world, it is actually one of the newer technologies. However, keep in mind, like the word says, it is a remediation technology. Now, not everyone is using it as such, and that is something that I will be talking about with you guys towards the end here. So I'm going to be talking about what it is, what it does, why it's important, and why you should care about it. All right, so starting off, like we said, it is color remediation chromatography. So what is that? Again, it's a remediation form, and it's changing the color of your concentrate, specifically in a hydrocarbon extraction setup. Now, I'm going to show you guys a picture of a hydrocarbon extraction setup right here. So, as you can see, you have a source for hydrocarbon, whether it be butane, propane, or whatever you have it as your hydrocarbon. You have columns in which your weed stores in, and then you flow that over top of it. You have a collection column, and this is how a traditional one is set up, where it's basically just those three columns. What happens is the hydrocarbon comes out of the, the, the tank, goes over the column of the cannabis, collects all the trichomes and everything else off of that, goes into your collection column. The collection column then heats it up. Everything's cold as can be. And then the co collection column heats it up. The hydrocarbon extract or hydrocarbon part of it separates off from your trichome heads. And there's still like some hydrocarbons still left in this. And then you take that out and you process that post-process. Now, when you add a CRC column into this, this changes things. So what happens is it goes still straight out of your butane tank into your, into your material column. But before it can go into a collection column, what it does is it goes into another column called a CRC column. In that CRC column, it is full of some type of media, whether it be uh, betonite clay or some type of acid-activated bleaching agent. It then filters... It's using a filter media. It then takes all of the, the waxes, the lipids, and all kinds of other stuff and pulls it out through there, or at least that's the idea. Um, now keep in mind, CRC is something that we do use in other aspects of food-grade industries. Uh, for example, your cooking oil, cooking oil, your canola oil. The reason that it's so clear like that is because it was crc It was uh, color remediation chromatography. That's why it's that color, and when you're done with it, it becomes real dark. You could then CRC that, filter it out, and it'll come back like that. Now, that's all cool and well when it comes to food-grade products. Just like how with a lot of pesticides are not the same when applied to cannabis, a lot of these techniques are not the same when applied to cannabis. What do I mean by that? So what I mean by that is that more often than not, People are not caring about the pH or the acidity of their products, and they are not caring about what filter media they are using. Now, if you're just using a simple betonite clay, it's no really no real harm, no foul. Um, what that is is, again, pulling out the lipids and the fats and things like that and separating them out. No biggie. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do it. Not really worth it when you can just winterize your products. Um, and a reason that a lot of people are doing this is because, as we all know, Fire in, fire out. That's why Heavenly Extracts up in Michigan has fire products in, fire products out. It's got diamonds and sauce. This is what non-CRC should look like. See how it's kind of got like that yellowish, goldish tint to it? It's because the trichome heads were amber. So, when you have stuff that is like bone white, it is almost clear. Not necessarily distillate because distillate can be done in a different process. And if you're distilling things outright, it should be coming out pretty clear anyway. But when you're talking about concentrates, waxes, hydrocarbon-based extraction, if it's clear, it's probably CRC. Especially if it says cured resin and it's not dark, it's probably CRC. Especially with heavy acid-activating bleaching agents, and that is the part that we really need to be aware of. Often, when we test our products through a COA, we don't have to test for the pH balance on it. We have to test for mold, microtoxins, uh, terpene content in some states, and a whole bunch of other things. But we do not generally have to test for the pH of it. Why is that important? Because you're smoking 
something that is acidic. It's the same reason that I have a problem with Delta 8 products, because you're not testing the pH afterwards. We don't know what's going to happen to you in 10 years if you are smoking heavy CRC products with acid-activated bleaching agents. Again, acid-activated. So it's changing the pH from a zero, a neutral balance, where it's not harmful to you in any way, shape, and form. Soaps or bases, there's acids on the other form. I'm not going to go into a whole lesson on pH balance. But generally speaking, when you use something like CRC, it makes that pH balance acidic so you're smoking something and putting something into your lungs that is acidic and i don't like that idea that's me personally i don't have any evidence but just from a logical standpoint you talk to an organic chemist and they'll tell you think about it like this you're bleaching you are bleaching your cannabis product why just for color to make it look because you're what you're what it is is it's fooling people it's trying to fool people because people who are at this point in time, people are like, oh, well, the lighter it is, the better it is. Well, that's not necessarily true because, again, once it's bone white, that tells me it's crc and that is not a good thing. So, generally, I try and tell people to avoid CRC and avoid CRC products. It's not necessarily a bad thing in the long run, especially because it doesn't. you don't necessarily know what they're using as their filter media. Again, if they're just using a bentonite clay, not that bad. Not a big deal. It's basically like kitty litter. But... If they are using a, again, acid-activating, heavy acid-activated bleaching agent, that is bad. Don't do that. So, I hope you guys learned something from this. Share it with your friends. Share it with whoever. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Rodney Hash out.